Well, I do wear glasses, doctor, just for reading, but I guess it's time to see if my prescription is still valid. Um, what kind of machine are you using here right now? So this is called a Feropter. It has different lenses that's going to help me establish what your prescription is and how it's changed today. All right, and I'm checking, obviously, you're checking both eyes in this case, and we're checking correct. for clarity of different letters, correct? Correct, correct. We're using different lenses to see which would be the best prescription for you today for glasses or contact lenses. Okay, so let's say, I mean, I don't think I have 20-20 vision, but let's say I did have 20-20 vision. Um, does that mean I don't need to see an optometrist, I'm done for a while, or what? No, as doctors of optometry, part of it is the vision check, and the other part of it is an ocular health assessment, so we can look at your eye health and detect any early signs of eye disease. So what kind of machine is this? So this is a microscope with a high intensity light that we call a slit lamp. And with this light, I look at the front structures. I'm looking at your eyelids. I'm looking at the front cornea just to make sure that there's no scratches or anything going on. And what we're kinds gonna, of things can you determine with this machine here? So we're going to look inside too. We're looking at your lens to make sure there's no cataracts. We're looking at your nerve, which connects your eye to the brain to make sure there's no early signs of glaucoma or any other systemic eye diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure. I never would have thought you could find out those things looking at my eye. How important is early detection? 75% of vision loss is treatable or preventable, so it's very important for us to look inside and look for early signs so that we can treat those and prevent uh, vision loss. Wow, super important. If you want to find an optometrist near you, go to doctorsofoptometry.ca. I know we tested one eye. How about we check, check the, the other one? Thanks, doctor. <laughs> Well, I got my glasses on, but I know that Faith here is getting ready for her eye exam. Faith, how old are you? Three. Three years old. Excellent. Well, you're going to help me stay still, right, for your eye exam. Uh, Dr. Sahota, is, is three years old about the right age for your first actually, eye exam? Actually, it's not her first eye exam. We usually recommend your first eye exam between six to nine months of age for your child, and then once between the age of two to five, and then annually during your school years. Okay, so what kinds of things are you checking for right now with Faith? So right now I'm looking with this light to check her prescription, much like we did with yours. This is just a little bit easier. She's not as fidgety because I can get right <laughs> close to her. Excellent. Now we also need to check for things like eye health as well, right? Absolutely. 80% of a child's learning is based on vision, so it's very important that they have a good visual system, but also a good ocular health check so that they can learn and develop um, and do well potentially in life. Now, as, as we're a little bit older, I mean, I know the kinds of things that you were testing for me were like things like blood pressure, glaucoma. Um, with young people like Faith, are you checking for the same kinds of things? We're checking for some of those same things, but with children, one in four school-age children has a vision problem. So other things like eye turns, uh, lazy eyes, we need to correct early so that they're able to develop um, in school and play and socially and do well. Excellent, you're doing such a good job, Faith. Is it hard to sit still that long? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I bet it is. Well, whether you're six months old or whether your child is six months old or you're 110, to find an optometrist near you, go to doctorsofoptometry.ca. Good job, Faith. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we know we can see our optometrist for our eye exams, but Dr. Sahota, if there's an emergency situation or urgent eye care, people might be surprised that they don't necessarily have to go to the emergency room. Absolutely. You're like 80% of Canadians aren't aware that they can come to their doctor of optometry, not only for preventative eye care, but also to treat acute or chronic illnesses. We did an eye exam on you earlier, so your doctor of optometry knows the history of your eyes and your systemic health, so we are able to treat urgent eye care issues. What constitutes an emergency with respect to eyes? Pink eye, or what we call conjunctivitis, uh, scratched cornea, getting a foreign body or something in your eye, we're able to look at all of that. And this machine helps you actually diagnose some of those problems, right? Absolutely. This is a microscope with a high intensity light that helps us look at the different layers and assess your pink eye and see if it's bacterial, viral, allergies. We're able to look for scratched cornea, any foreign bodies we would remove behind this microscope. And where do most emergencies happen with respect to eyes? Contrary to, to belief, most actually occur at home. Um, simple things as household renovations, getting cleaning products in your eye, fingernails, misuse of contact lenses. And, and how are my eyes looking right now? Pretty good? They look good. <laughs> Nothing in there. Excellent. Well, you can go visit your optometrist or to find an optometrist near you, go to doctorsofoptometry.ca. We better check the other eye. <laughs>